Hey friends, Ryan Frank, welcome to the Daily Coffee Chat. It's Friday. Way to go, you made it to Friday. So glad you are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, lots of new things at kidsmatter.com. I wanna make sure you all are aware of. Uh, first of all, you'll see a little reminder there about Kidman Academy. Our next set of classes begin next week. Also, you'll find the most popular downloads right now. Fall Frenzy. Hold on just a minute. Andy, you there? Yeah, I'm audio here. With me quick. I just oh. realized, you can jump on the video too. I just <laughs> realized. What's that? Um, looking at the most popular downloads of the week. Name that sound animal edition got bounced off the list. It is finally gone. <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks in that top eight. And oh, I think it's been in the top eight since we started featuring the top downloads. Yeah, probably. It's probably been in the top eight since it debuted. Now, do you think it's in the top 10? Yes, think- it is still in the top 10. I think it was actually like number nine. So wow, it just barely got bumped. Wow. Okay. Ooh, gotta love that fall frenzy though. It's uh- going really good. It is going good. It's a good one. I don't. I don't know who made it, but it's. Not, yeah, I don't need. They're super talented, though. Super talented and humble. You're looking yeah, at that Andy too. right there. <laughs> All right, thanks, Andy. So here you'll see our most popular downloads: Fall Frenzy, Reverse Stand Up, Stand Down, Sit Down, uh, The Pumpkin Shuffle, Pumpkin Peekaboo, What's Missing, Fall Fun Search, The Three Pack. It's a good deal. Um, Would you rather Spooky Edition, Zoomed in Thanksgiving Edition. There's our most populars. Um, hey, some great games, including Cool Cats and Karaoke Christmas. Say what Christmas? We've got some great Christmas games that are hitting the site. Um, snowman races. The kids pick a snowman. This is all on the screen. They cheer for the snowman that they think is going to win. If you've not been to Kids Matter in a while, please go check it out. There's not just games, but look at this. Look at all these categories. Um, Worship videos, programming videos, teaching, curriculum and videos and skits, all kinds of resources for family discipleship, leadership, seasonal stuff, all kinds of great stuff over at Kids Matter HQ. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. Um, Hey, I know that weekends look different now. It is, um, you know, we are less than a week away from the election. It'd be interesting to see how the election impacts things in our world these days, won't it? Um, so, but whether you are preparing for Zoom services or whether you are shooting today your pre-recorded service for Sunday, or whether you are making sure the chairs are spaced out six feet apart and there's a little bottle of water underneath each chair because the kids can't use the water fountain. Whatever you are doing, know that you are making a difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna talk to you for a few minutes today about the team that you are building, the team that you are building. Um, There is no I in team, right? There is no I in team. And it is easy to rely on yourself in children's ministry and as a pastor and as a leader. Uh, I've got this. I've got this. And it's easy for you to, I'll take care of Sunday. You know, I'll, I'll take care of the budget. I'll run and get the supplies. I'll make sure everything is set up. The problem with relying on yourself is your ministry will never grow beyond you. And you will limit your capacity for more. One of the best things that you can focus on every week, really every day for that matter, as a children's ministry leader, is growing your capacity for more. Do you pray every day that God would give you capacity to reach more people, to do more things for him, to uh, spin more plates, to manage more projects, to get more done, to reach more people with the gospel. If you are doing everything yourself, your capacity is going to be limited. You've got to get 
you've got to build a team. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about three non-negotiables when you are building a team. Three non-negotiables when you're building a team. Number one, you need to find people with competency. That's the first point, C, competency. If you're trying to build a children's ministry team, you need to have some people that are competent in children's ministry, right? There are good people in your church, but they have no business being in children's ministry. They hate kids, right? Or they're old and grouchy. You need people that love kids and love families. You need people that are excited about the vision that God has given you as the leader for the children's ministry in your church. So as you build a team, you know, look for people that have kids of their own. Look for people that you can tell love kids. They talk about their grandkids all the time. You see them doing things with their grandkids all the time. Find people that are competent, people that you can trust, people that have the ability to manage a room full of kids, people that have the competency to get a discussion going around a table or in a circle with a group of kids. If you're needing worship leaders, you need to find people that can carry a tune, right? And that are comfortable getting up in front of the kids and singing. If you are looking to grow your security team, then you need to find someone who is will, not just willing, but has the competency to enforce the rules and the protocols that you are putting in place. If you're trying to recruit somebody to help at the welcome station and check in first time guests, you need to find someone that has the competency uh, to do that. They need to be able to smile. They need to be friendly people. They need to be outgoing. You don't wanna put your introverted backwards people at the front lines, right? Where your visitors are showing up. There is something that everybody can do. You just gotta make sure you align their competencies and in other words, another way of saying this, their skills, their talents, the things that they were born with, that they're good at doing, and that God has enabled them to do. Align those skills and those talents with what it is that you need done. So as you build a team of first non-negotiable, competency. Number two, chemistry. There's got to be some chemistry, not just between you and that volunteer, because the truth is you may not be working with that volunteer a whole lot, but there needs to be some chemistry with the team that you've put together. Or if you're recruiting a helper in a classroom, there needs to be some chemistry between the lead teacher and that helper that you're recruiting, right? If you're putting together a steering committee for vacation Bible school or summer camp, and don't we all hope we can do vacation Bible school next summer and summer camp, right? You want to make sure that there's some chemistry with that team. Um, chemistry is important. How do you understand if there's chemistry with someone? You've got to get to know them. You've got to get to know them, which is going to require you spending some time with them or knowing someone that knows them or knowing someone that has spent some time with that person. Chemistry is important because chemistry impacts culture. And the culture of your children's ministry on Sunday mornings and Sunday nights and Wednesday nights is so important. Toxic culture will run off a team quicker than anything else. But a good, healthy culture will actually attract a team. And that culture happens when you've got the right people working in the right department with the right teams because there's good chemistry. Here's the third thing, the third non-negotiable to look at when you're building a team, and that is attitude. Attitude. You want people with a good attitude. Now, I'll tell you this. Attitude is one of the hardest things to change in a person. 
I mean, if you bring, if you onboard a volunteer and they seem to have a lousy attitude, but you're like, you know what, I think it'll change with time. I don't want to discourage you. It could change with time. The Holy Spirit doing a work in that person's life um, that might change, but it's, listen, it's difficult to change people's attitude, right? So one of the key things I look for with new team members is their attitude. Do they have a positive attitude? Do they have a we can do it attitude? Do they have a servant's attitude? Because am I not correct in saying that so much of children's ministry leadership is about serving others? It's about washing other people's feet, especially in children's ministry. You're getting there before anybody else. You're staying there after everybody else leaves. You're cleaning up messes of kids that aren't your kids, right? You are serving, serving, serving. So you want to find people with a good attitude, a positive attitude, a we can do it attitude, a servant's attitude, a team attitude. That you know what? People that are committed to having an attitude that it's not just me, but I am part of a bigger team. I'm a team player. And I think I would be amiss if I didn't mention having a spirit-filled attitude. Oh, don't we need people in our team, on our teams, working with our kids that are walking in the spirit. They're not perfect, just like you and I aren't perfect, but they are doing their best every day to walk in the spirit of the Lord. There's three non-negotiables to work, look for in your team competency, chemistry, and attitude. Now, friends, before I let you go, thank you for tuning in to today's coffee chat. A uh, couple housekeeping things. Number one, let me go back and share my screen again. Uh, our class, our next class for Kidman Academy begins Monday or Tuesday of next week. There is still time to register. We're doing a special COVID-19 offer, pay what you can. Um, if, and at the end of 12 months, if you missed yesterday's coffee chat, you can get it to Ryan Frank podcast or kidsmatter.com. I spent, I spent 10 or 15 minutes, I unpacked what is Kidman Academy. Go back and listen to that if you have any questions. But our classes begin Tuesday, there is still time to sign up. Also, are you catching some of the, kid mat, the kids, some of the podcasts that are part of the Kids Matter podcast network. We have a brand new today podcast from Amber Pike. Her podcast is titled The Kid Men Huddle. Top 20 favorites, Bible, books, music, and more for the home. We have a new Kids Matter podcast that was released yesterday, The Secret Sauce of Leadership which is momentum. You can catch my podcast from yesterday, my spotlight on Kid Men Academy. You'll also see, I believe it was yesterday, um, or maybe the day before, Jack Henry's new podcast, Leadership Recharge. What are we known for? What are we known for? There's some great podcasts. Make sure to catch them. All of the show notes and everything are at kidsmatter.com. Friends, thanks for joining me for today's coffee chat. I want to thank Indiana Wesleyan for supporting, sponsoring this episode. That is not true. I just wore this hoodie today. Um, hey, thank you for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. If you need anything, reach out and let us know. Uh, let's keep the conversation rolling in Kids Matters. I love Kid Men Facebook community. Talk soon. <laughs>